and I've been doing a lot of stupid things that got me in a lot of trouble. What's up guys? I apologize for not uploading any videos lately for these past few days, but I've been sick. Do you guys remember how I told you guys about my story about having shingles? Well, today is going to be something similar to that as well. Now, I know I may be throwing out big words that may sound weird, but trust me, I will explain to you guys what all of them mean at the end of the video. I hope you guys bear with me, and uh, let's get this started. So, the first time I found out I had something was around the age of 15 and 16. It was my very first week on the job, and just meeting everyone there and eating the food taking the lunch breaks and everything. I found out a couple weeks later that I had anal glaucoma. Sadly, I don't think there's a cure for it because around 17, I had another job that I had to go to and I figured that I had the same thing as well. After going to work for those two years, I found out that I also had acute hygienic arrest. Acute hygienic arrest is not visible, but my coworkers and the customers knew that I had it because they just knew. Because of the hygienic arrest that I discovered, many of the customers were complaining to me and my manager. The complaints kept on rushing in weeks after weeks. And then one day, I went to the doctors and I figured out that I have cephalonal confusion. The doctors told me not to worry though because he said it was pretty normal for people that were working with customer service. Because of all the things that I had going on with my body, the doctors told me it was crucial not to think about anything or else I would have cyberchondria. He told me that cyberchondria can lead to depression, paranoia, and other madness. Now a year after this, which was when I was 18, I've been having a lot of things on my mind and I became drunk -acidal. I became drunk -acidal, and I've been doing a lot of stupid things that got me in a lot of trouble. I've gone to the dunk tank and jail a few times and I've also been diagnosed with cellulitis. Because of my winerea, which is similar to diarrhea, the doctors decided to send me to training and therapy because I was vitamin E deficient. Now I know you guys are all trying to wrap your heads around all these big words and stuff like that, but let me explain to you guys what these definitions mean right now. Anal glaucoma, when a person can't see their ass coming to work that day. Acute hygienic arrest, having really bad cases of body odor. Cephalonal confusion, struggling from differentiating the ass from the head. Cyberchondria, worrying about all the worst possibilities after reading the internet. Drunkicidal, doing life-threatening stuff while drunk. Cellulitis, getting sick right before getting arrested. Winerea, patients who whine a lot. Vitamin E deficient, to indicate a lack of basic intelligence. Obviously guys, this is just a joke. It's just a prank guys. It's just a prank. But honestly, I apologize for not uploading recently. It's because I've been caught up with family things and computer failures and stuff like that. But I'm working on a prank at the moment and it takes time, you know, these stuff takes time. I hope you guys don't hate me because I don't have anal glaucoma for you guys, you know, I like making videos for you guys. So stay tuned for more videos, alright guys? Peace out. Hello.